feud of all time. Paul Brown versus the Cleveland Browns. Paul Brown was a very, very popular coach in Ohio, in Cleveland. His popularity was more than the team. He was the Cleveland Browns. The mighty Cleveland Browns come charging onto the field. And the capable mentor who put them on top, Coach Paul Brown. The man behind our number eight feud coached the Cleveland Browns to seven championships. But in the early 60s, Paul Brown couldn't build a winning relationship with new owner, Art Modell. He didn't like my being in the office at 7.30 in the morning. He, he saw I was a little upset with that. Our relationship cooled until in January 63, I called him into my office and said, we're, we're gonna go different directions. There's no rah-rah in professional football. It's a cold, hard, commercial game. Paul Brown, I don't think, ever really got over the fact that Art Modell fired him. And he decided to just come down to the southern part of the state and form a team and play him every year, twice a year, and try to beat him as many times as he could. The brand new Cincinnati Bengals did not enter the jungle unescorted. Paul Brown, their guiding spirit and protector, had tread these paths before and was wise in the ways of the hunt. Well, you look fine. Thank you. I feel yeah. pretty good. I'm happily settled down again to live in a normal life, good. and I like it. Paul took a lot of the heritage that he had built in Ohio, again, capitalizing on team colors. He kept that same orange. This is the Cincinnati Bengals, CB, Cleveland Browns, CB. Cleveland always wore white at home. The Bengals wore a lot of white at home. It was almost like we were the Browns, and he had the Southern Browns versus the Northern Browns. Well, one time I said to our equipment man, you know, th these uniforms look a lot like the Cleveland Browns, and he said, don't ever say that where Paul can hear you. Just so you understand me. When we would play the Cleveland Browns, Paul Brown always got in the fact that Art Modell had fired him. One guy can just screw up the whole thing terrible. He never let us forget. You know, as you, you'd see him walk around here, a little look on his face, you know. We're playing in Cleveland one year. We pull up in our bus. Art Modell pulls into his reserve parking space. Art gets out of his car. Paul gets off the bus. They walk by each other. Not one word spoken. Never even acknowledge each other. And I said, this rivalry is for real. This was beyond a feud. The two teams found all kinds of ways to diss each other. You know, you would have a, a TV monitor in your owner's booth, typically. Good kick, good kick. The home team would provide it. Well, when the Browns would show up to the Bengals uh, stadium, there'd be no TV in the owner's booth. Little shots like that, and they were reciprocated. <laughs> Our number eight feud will never die, because while one team is named after Paul Brown, the other plays in a stadium bearing his name. The Bengals and the Browns renew the rivalry. And the two cities will never forget. Will the next person that sees anybody throw anything onto this field 